think we can all admit that recently like Tyson Fury hasn't been shining in a great light. He's had a lot of stick from obviously the negotiations for the Usyk fight and everything that goes with it. So people have basically blamed him for what's happened. And he could probably do some good PR to get him out of the situation he's in and hopefully like people will move on, or in his eyes anyway, hopefully people will move on and he can get on with his career. So in order for him to do that, in my opinion, he needs to come out with a massive fight next. Now there's a few names floating around who that could be and one of them names is Joe Joyce, the juggernaut. Now his father, Big John Fury, has recently come out and basically said that what's the point? He believes that like the Joe Joyce fight is a meaningless fight for his son and basically Tyson Fury would struggle to get out of bed for that fight because he had his hopes set on Undisputed and that didn't happen and John Fury believes the only fight for Tyson Fury is Undisputed. The only thing he get motiv motivated for. He said there's no belts on the line so Tyson Fury might not be able to get motivated for it. Well, so the question, my question is, well, how do you think Alexander Usyk feels? He now has to go in against Daniel Dubois, Philip Pergovic and Joe Joyce back to back to back. And it's boring fight after boring fight after boring fight. And that's thanks to your son not being able to get this fight over the line. So if anyone out there is uh, going to moan about having meaningless fights, it surely it should be Alexander Usyk. He now has to go fight Daniel Dubois. I mean, that in itself is going to be just a nightmare. But he wants undisputed, so he's going through that path. Now, Tyson Fury, he needs a big fight. I'm, I'm convinced he needs a big fight. Um, I don't think it's going to be Ngannou or anything like that. No gimmicky fight. I think it's going to be a real fight. And why not... Um, Joe Joyce. I think Joe Joyce is the perfect fight. I think if he announces Joe Joyce, it will do some damage limitation. Obviously, people are still going to be annoyed about the undisputed situation, but ultimately, Joe Joyce is the next available option. I can't see him being able to get away with a Chisora again or a Dillian White again. Even at this stage, even Dillian White's considered a journeyman as far as I'm concerned. So Tyson Fury doesn't really have many options. He has to go and have a big fight. And in my opinion, if he wants to save his reputation, Joe Joyce is the fight he needs to be making. But back to John Fury's point. So John Fury is trying to say it's a meaningless fight and Tyson Fury wouldn't want it or he wouldn't be able to get motivated for it. Now, I don't see why that's the case. And first and foremost, it's a decent money fight. It's not a mega fight or anything, but he's going to do big numbers. I mean, it will do the same sort of numbers as Dillian White, if not more. I mean, Joe Joyce's profile has grown since then. His win over Parker did elevate him quite a lot. I mean, a lot of boxing fans' eyes anyway. Joe Joyce is better than Dillian White. He's ranked higher than Dillian White. So there's money in the fight. You'll make a bit of money from it. And not only that, it will it will clear up his reputation and it will help his legacy because Joe Joyce is a legacy type of fight, if you ask me. Him to go through Joe Joyce right now under these circumstances, if he comes out the other side as the winner, then that's definitely going to help his claim for being the best of this generation because Joe Joyce is a dark horse, an outsider for, for the, being one of the best of this generation, if you ask me. No one big has really gone in there with him yet, but I'm telling you, give Joe Joyce the chance and he's going to give you problems. So I think it's the right fight for Fury. It will help his, it will help his image. It will definitely help his image. Um, it will help him in terms of legacy. He'll make a few quid and it will keep him busy. So if he does land an undisputed fight, he won't go in there off a long layoff. He'll be relatively you know, fresh sort of thing or relatively in shape or sharp and ready to go, which will then basically mean there's no delays moving forward. So I, I believe that it makes sense. And I don't think John Fury is necessarily being honest when he says it's a meaningless fight. If I'm being brutally honest, I think that John Fury can see what I can see and believes what I believe. And that is essentially that Joe the Juggernaut Joyce, Big Joe Joyce, is the only legitimate claim to Tyson Fury's throne, if you ask me. Now, people out there are going to say, oh yeah, what about Usyk? He ducked Usyk, this, that and the other. I don't believe Tyson Fury is scared of Usyk personally. I think other people believe that. All good. You believe what you got to believe. I think the fight didn't happen for whatever reason. Yeah, whatever it is, what it is. But ultimately, if they were to fight, I got Tyson Fury as a strong favourite. And I don't think Tyson Fury has many problems with Alexander Usyk. Obviously, people can have their own opinions on that. But in my head, the only person in the heavyweight division to give Tyson Fury any work, any decent threat, anything to worry about, any legit claim to his throne, I believe is going to come from Joe Joyce. And I think that if Tyson Fury is going to duck anyone, it would be ducking Joe Joyce. Ultimately, John Fury sort of he's he's planting the seeds in my opinion if you ask me uh for why they're not going to take that fight or why they may not take that fight but in my opinion tyson fury needs to take that fight it essentially will save his image and he'll put him right back up there should he win but even that isn't a guarantee i mean i'm telling you joe joyce is a legit threat to tyson fury it's, he's a threat to any of the top heavyweights I, I i believe that as well but specifically for tyson fury it's not a good fight for fury styles make fights and joe joyce is all wrong for tyson fury I think John Fury knows that. I don't think Tyson does or Tyson doesn't care. People will be like, oh yeah, Tyson Fury is scared of this. I don't believe any fighter is scared of any other person. That's a narrative put in there by fans. But these guys get punched in the face for a living. 
it, it makes no sense to say they're scared of a, another man. It's almost like saying, oh, a, a speed racing driver, Formula One guy, a racer, he's scared of having a crash. All right, you don't want to have a crash, but if you're scared of having a crash, you couldn't be a racer in the first place, if you see what I'm saying. You're built differently. But yeah, here I go waffling again. So I'm going to leave it there. So John Fury basically says that this son, Tyson Fury, shouldn't fight or probably won't fight or he doesn't believe Tyson Fury should fight Joe Joyce. He says it's a meaningless fight and Tyson Fury will struggle to get up for it. I personally think that John Fury knows that Joe Joyce is a legit threat and that his son will not go in there as a strong favourite to win that fight. So that's probably why he doesn't want his son to take it. I don't think he thinks Tyson needs that kind of work at this stage of his career. But it is what it is. I guess we'll find out what happens in due course. You guys let me know what you think as always in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.